This wheel is full of custom Pixelmon Lucky Blocks. In each round, the wheel will decide what tier of Lucky Block we open for the next 15 blocks. But we can only choose one Pokemon from each tier for our final team. And at the end, we'll have a battle with our legendary teams for $1,000. Mr. Cyrude, it is time for your first Lucky Come Block on! spin. And oh, Crimson right Lucky away. Blocks! Not bad at all. Those are sick. Let's go! But for my spin, come on, baby. Give me God Lucky Blocks. Give me God Lucky... Ooh. I'll take it crystal round one. All right, sir. Good luck. Good luck. Let's do this. And just like that, we have 15 crystal lucky blocks. Let's see. Immediately a crystal Raikou. So if you guys don't know, all of these lucky blocks will have custom legendary Pokemon. And there are some crazy ones. Like, oh, we just got a Suicune. Come on, be an Entei. It's a Spectrier. But dude, I will never get tired of these crystal legendaries. Suicune and Spectrier are getting those master balls. All right, 15 crimson lucky blocks, but there is a catch. We can only use one of these Pokemon that we get. And we just got an Eternatus. Are you serious? Let's go. Oh my gosh. That is so good. Now, I will say a lot of these Lucky Blocks only have legendary Pokemon in them. So even though Eternatus is sick, I might get an even better Pokemon. But of course, guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. Because boom, once you subscribe, we get Dark Rise every day. We get Eternatus. So please subscribe, please. But yo, no. Not bad at all. Let me catch both of these demons. That is so cool, man. But we need to start thinking about the one Pokemon from this batch we're gonna take. Because right now, I'm really liking Darkrai and Eternatus, but yo, Ho-Oh could be really good. Genesect, that is really strong as well. It's not like the most flashy legendary ever, but it is incredibly strong. Let's see what else we can get. A Manaphy. No, 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 no. That's a stinky one. Articuno. All right. I wonder if we're allowed to fuse Pokemon together, because if that is the case, we can actually fuse an Eternatus with an Arceus to get like an extremely OP Pokemon, a Darkrai. Yo, that looks so cool. But come on, man. Crystal, another Crystal ho -Oh. Okay, show me a Lugia. Urshifu. Okay, that's what's up, man. Crystal Urshifu is amazing. And so far, I'm thinking Crystal Eternatus here will be our pick. These textures are amazing. I love the crimson textures so much. I have no idea what Pokemon I'm going to keep. It's most certainly not going to be Shaman though, unless I make it Shaman Sky. Then maybe you could have an argument that it actually is pretty sick of Kyogre. Yo! Oh my gosh. Crimson Dawn Kyogre. Tell me that is not amazing looking. But let's go. A Crimson Dawn Kyogre. That is so sick. But we still got four lucky blocks left. You never know. There's a Kirin. We could get a Groudon. Crystal Groudon would be crazy. Crystal Rayquaza would be insane. Crystal Cosmog makes me want to cry. We're just gonna pretend like we didn't see that. All right, like what just happened? We got another Crystal Suicune. And the last Crystal Pokemon of this batch is a Crystal Cup food. So we got trolled. With these last seven lucky blocks, let's see. Oh, a Palkia, yo. The Tapu Coco, let's go. I'll take that. You know what, actually? I think Tapu Coco would be a lot better than we think. It's extremely fast. It hits pretty hard. But I think most importantly, it is a fairy type Pokemon, which counters dragon very, very well. And yeah, this might be a bad call, but I'm gonna go with Crystal Eternatus. And unfortunately, we just got a duplicate with Darkrai and another Thunderous. So we got a Tornadus earlier, I forget. Um, and another Palkia. On, yeah, a lot of duplicates to finish that off. I think I am going to go ahead and keep... I'm gonna keep the Kyogre. So hopefully your Come round on. one was as good as God, lucky block. Oh, okay. Shadow. Shadow legendary. Let's go. That is sick. Dude, how am I going to compete with legendary Shadow? Ooh. Oh my gosh, Let's dude. Let's go. Corrupted Lucky Blocks. And if you guys want to play Pixelmon 2, the IP is play.smashmc.co. And you can type slash redeem Arpus in the chat and get five free common Lucky Blocks. And this is exciting because we actually have the newest kind of Lucky Block here. Corrupted Deoxys. Dude, I love the white and pink color scheme. It's so perfect. All right. We have legendary shadow Pokemon and Arpus got corrupted Pokemon. I feel like that's just one stage cooler than shadow, but that doesn't mean that my Pokemon aren't going to be incredibly strong. 
Like type null. Let's see what else we can get though. Oh, wait a second. Shadow Zekrom is looking pretty spunky, dude. He looks pretty sweet. Let's go ahead and catch him. I would not mind adding a Zekrom to the team. Oh, we got a normal Latias here. Come on, give me a corrupted Latias. Oh, corrupted Entei, bro. Oh, he looks like the king of this mountain. I'm not gonna lie. Let's catch that ASAP. And Entei, although you look really sick, you're unfortunately not going to be remaining on the team because I would most certainly take the Zekrom over you, Urshifu, okay? We get a Verizian. Ooh, a corrupted Sashian, dude. Oh my God, that is so good. Come here, Verizian. I forgot about you. Who do you guys think is the worst Articuno? And there we go. We got another Tapu Koko. That's so good. I was thinking about keeping it last round. And I know that we have a Zekrom. I think I'd rather have the Koko over the Zekrom. Am I, is that weird? I, I honestly don't know what is better. But we've gotten four banger Pokemon so far. Let's keep this... Dude, corrupted Rayquaza is ours. Come here. Let me throw this Master Ball at you. Oh, that is so cute. I think we might have to bring that Pokemon. We got a Glass Dryer and a Jirachi. Oh, Xerneas. Yo. Okay. I think Xerneas is going to be in the lead here. I don't know if we're allowed to use held items though, but if we are allowed items, I'm most certainly going to keep him a Ho-Oh too. Okay. We're getting some really cool Pokemon. Speaking of... Up here is an Agrizard, which is a Charizard and Agron fusion, and a Suicuno, which is an Articuno Suicune fusion. Both extremely cool Pokemon. We get a Kyogre! So no Groudon this round, but we did get Rayquaza and Kyogre. I guess there's still a chance for Groudon. We get a Corrupted Raikou. And last but not least, for this round, our final Corrupted Pokemon, ooh, is a Corrupted Magearna. But now we are down to just two of these legendary Shadow Lucky Blocks. Come on. Give me an Arceus. Give me an Arceus. Terrakion. Loki. Terrakion. Rakion is like pretty solid. You just get one Source Dance off with them, and then you have Stone Edge, Close Combat, and he kind of shreds. And last but not least, we have Latias. So my three options here are obviously Zacian, Rayquaza, and Kyogre. And to be honest, as much as I want to pick Rayquaza and Zacian, Kyogre is just so hard to beat. So we need to choose that for this round. I'm honestly really torn between keeping the Tapu Koko and the Xerneas, but I think I'd be really silly not to keep the Xerneas. So that is where we're going to go for it for round number two. Too. Moving on to the next wheel spin now. Come on, what you Oh, no. yes! Oh, my God! Let's go! God! That is so Pokemon bad for me. Lucky block. Dude, how do I even compete with that Let's right now? Go, I am stuck. Dude. Oh, okay. Okay, I'll take that, though. Galaxy. Galaxy is sick. I am so happy about that. Galaxy Lucky Blocks are easily my favorite, and you're about to see why. Just look. Okay, it's like the 15th Raikou we've seen today, but just look how cool. Come on, give me something I haven't seen yet. Ooh, a Galaxy Keldeo. Yes, come on, let's go again. Galaxy Reg Ice. I mean, the Reggies aren't that great, but that is a sweet texture. Guys, we literally just got the best lucky block in the entire game. This is a god lucky block, which drops three random texture legendary Pokemon and even has a chance to drop fusion Pokemon. So hopefully at the end of this round, I will be able to keep like the strongest fusion ever. I got my eyes set on Dragon Ninja, but honestly, any fusion would be amazing. Let's see what we can get. Oh, a Kyogre, a Zekrom, a Galaxy Zekrom, actually. That's so cool. And a Hoopa. Okay. A Crystal Hoopa. And even though that was so sick, guys, some of these have even cooler Pokemon in them. I am so excited for this round. Come on. Another Kyogre. How many of these are we going to get? A Landorus and a Galaxy Latias. Galaxy Groudon is like the coolest Pokemon ever. Next to Galaxy Melmetal. We might have to bring that to the battle, but let's keep it up, bro. We've been getting some good Pokemon. There's a Necrozma. Show me the Galaxy Grout. Oh, wait, Galaxy Terrakion. That is sick. And Galaxy Zygarde. Okay, we got to check the ability. If this is the perfect one, then we might have to bring Zygarde to the battle. Oh, yay! Oh, Zacius, another fusion. That is a Zacian Xerneas fusion, bro. Oh, my gosh. And we got a Galaxy Mewtwo. This is like the only round ever that I would get a Mewtwo and not even think about keeping it. I'm like actually starting to sweat. I'm so nervous. I really don't want to lose. Because not only is our dignity on the line, but $1,000 as well. Ooh, Mel Metal. Mel Metal actually has two fusions now. He can fuse with Embor and he can fuse with Marshadow. But let's see. Oh, there is an Agrizard, yo. That is so sick, dude. Oh my gosh. He's definitely incredibly strong. I don't know if he's better than Zacius, though. Oh, 
the Dragon Ninja! Yeah! That is the one fusion that I said I really wanted to get. And there we go, baby. Let's go. Ooh, let's go. We got a Quaxwell. Okay, Quaxwell, come on. Give me some good luck. We get a Galaxy Kiram, a Galaxy Tapu Coco. Bro, the gold on that looks amazing. Come here. A shiny Evelto. A baby Rayquaza. I keep getting baby Pokemon from this, dude. Oh my gosh. That thing is adorable. And honestly, I'm kind of okay with not getting any more fusions because it's just going to make things more difficult. I just got two. I just got a Zekizord and I got a Gardecry. Please, no more fusions, bro. No more fusions, please. Please, no more. No, dude. Another one. A Mewtwo night, dude. Are you kidding me? Let's see what we can get now. Come on, baby. We get another Terrakion, a another Melmetal, and a fusion. But that's not fair. Our final lucky block is actually a Fion. But that's just fine. We got this beautiful Melmetal. That's what we're picking. This might be an unpopular choice here, guys, but I'm gonna go with the Mewtwo Knight as my Pokemon. The Dragonite Mewtwo Fusion is just so awesome. Moving on now to the next round. Only Ancient and Mystery have not been rolled, and there we go, baby! I there just got go. Ancient, ancient Lucky Blocks. Go. On to my spin now. Come on. Please give me some gas. No. That's what we need. Dude, that's what no. I need, baby. God Lucky Blocks. Oh my gosh, that's not good. Dude, Let's go, God Lucky Blocks. This is so good. For, we get a Baby Giratina, a Genesect, and a Kyle Lucky. Dude, Baby Giratina, look at him. Oh my gosh. Dude, I might have to bring a baby Pokemon to the battle just to say I did. But Kyle Lucky, oh my god, that's amazing. And Genesect, come here. Guys, my team is absolutely insane so far. I don't know what Arpus's team is looking like, but surely it's nowhere near as strong as mine. Like that, there's no way. That, that would be pretty impossible. I should probably start catching these Pokemon. But so far, we have Kyogre, Xerneas, and the Fusion Mewtwo Knight. I really hope we get some more baby Pokemon from these. Let's see. We get, oh my gosh, a shiny Genesect, a Cinder Shifu, and an Aggrizard, which is inside of a tree. These God Lucky Blocks came at a great time, too, after that one round. <gasps> baby Kyogre. Oh my god, it's so adorable. Look at the eyes, dude. Uh, yes, I'm catching that. And shiny Eternatus. Oh wait, that's Galaxy. Yo! Galaxy Eternatus and shiny Spectra. Come here. So far, this round has not been too amazing to me. The whole Alandarus that I can get behind. I don't have a flying or ground type Pokemon yet, and Landorus is both. This is gonna be a very happy round for me. I can tell we get a Latias, a Shadow, Kung Fu, and a Registeel. But these are like the best lucky blocks, though. So what can you expect? We get a Laprera, a Crimson Glastrier, and a Shiny Lugia, my favorite shiny legendary. I'll take that any day of the week. And don't forget to let me know your favorite lucky block from this video in the comments below. I don't really want to go anywhere else. This is like the perfect spot to open these up. We got a Galaxy Reshiram. Oh my god. A Eveltel and a Darkrai Gardevoir. Gyarados Giratina. This is amazing. We're getting like the best Pokemon, but we finally got our Groudon. Unfortunately, on the round where it's a little bit outshined. Not gonna lie. Come on. Come on, Reggie Ice. Not the best. Really not the best. It does have really good special defense, which is useful in certain situations, but I don't really see myself using that, honestly. What else? A Reggie Gigas? Nah, I'm still not using that. Slow start ability means he kind of stinks for the first three turns that he's sent out, and it's just not worth trying to use him. It's really, it's really difficult. But now we're on to our final five god lucky block. This is big, guys. So like I said, whoever wins the battle wins $1,000 from the loser. And yo, with Rayquaza like that, it's gonna be a fun battle. Necro Ozma, Giratina, Gyarados, and Arceus. I mean, I'll take an Arceus any day of the week, please. And come on, what's it gonna be? We get a shiny Eveltel, a Fion, and a Tapu Lele. Okay. I think so far, I'm probably leaning towards Landorus. A Palkia! I think I normally would go with Palkia over Lando, but we already have a dragon and water type, so I think Landorus is probably going to be more useful, so let's go with him. But now for the final god lucky block, what's it gonna be? Palkia, Manaphy, and Galaxy see Moltres? Or is that Shadow? I can't even tell, but either way, we're catching it. There we go. The problem is we got so many good Pokemon this round, I have no idea what to choose. I think I really want to use this baby Giratina or baby Lugia, though, but I feel stupid passing on the best fusion Pokemon. I don't know, dude. I'm gonna do it. Moving on to the second to last round now. What are you gonna... Sp oh! Crystal, let's go! I will take that. Oh, that's really good. And come on, give me mystery, baby. Give me some mystery... Ooh, you know what? 
I'll take it. I like ancient blocks. Ancient's pretty cool. And we finally got the ancient lucky blocks. Dude, these are some of my favorites. Just look how cool. Let's go, baby. So we get a Tapu Fini first off and an ancient Groudon for the second one. This is like the coolest Pokemon ever. Get in my ball. That's gotta be the one we bring. I'll just be so surprised if we see a better Pokemon than that. We get a Mew and a Zapdos. Okay, Zapdos is really sick. I'm not gonna lie. And Mew, ancient Mew, that's actually a real Pokemon. All right, 15 crystal lucky blocks. Oh my goodness. Golly, gosh, this is most certainly one of my favorites, Zarude. So many people say that this should be my favorite legendary, but no, I don't like him. Okay, I don't like him. He kind of stinks. He, he's a bad typing Zamazenta. Let's go, dude. That's pretty good. The thing with Zamazenta and Zacian, though, is even though they're incredibly strong, their move pools are not, or at least their level up move pools. They don't get the best moves by level up. So I'm not sure I'll be using it, but that Evelto, though, I'm definitely considering using an Evelto. That's pretty cool. I don't have a dark type yet. I do have a flying type with Landorus. I think that's perfectly fine. And I think Evelto probably fits in really well with the team. So, so far, I'm definitely leaning that way. Shaman as well could be really good. But let's just keep this up, bro. We only got 11 more blocks and it's time for the last round and then the battle. We get Genesect, we get a Darkrai and a Bull Canyon. Okay, three mythical Pokemon back to back to back. I'm assuming if Arpus does get a Kyogre, he'll probably be bringing that in as well. So Shaman could count that. And if he does, I'll probably... Oh, Zekrom! Okay, that is probably a much, much better Kyogre counter than Shaman would be, because Shaman is 4x weak to Ice Beam, which Kyogre does get. And we've only got eight more blocks to make this magic happen. Come on, we get a Lugia, a Zacian, a Regirock, and a Glassshire. Bro, that was powerful. Zacian and Lugia back-to-back. -back. Four more ancient lucky blocks. We get a Glassshire. We get a Zero Aura. Yo! Okay, that is sick. That is so sick. I'm in between Evelto. Oh, Groudon. Okay, now we have a decision to make. We have Groudon, Evelto, and Zekrom. What fits best? Honestly, I th I think Evelto. I think Evelto's dark type is gonna be really good. I could definitely see Arpus bringing some psychics in, and Evelto just destroys them. So I think Evelto is going to be the one. Azelf is definitely not making the team. Dude, I don't want to lose a thousand dollars today what are our final two pokemon we get latios and a Cernius. that is a great way to wrap it up oh my gosh but what ancient pokemon do we pick dude i'm really leaning towards groudon but zashian is also insane i mean we already got kyogre on the team Xerneas is also a really close pick but honestly ancient groudon is just way too cool let's go with that i'm gonna go with Eveltal here even though groudon is so good i feel so bad leaving him on the bench but let's go on to the last round and see. Hopefully, we can get another round on, and we'll use it then. Moving on now to the final round for Mr. Cyrus. Oh, and... corrupted. Yeah, corrupted. Let's go. Not bad, dude. Let's see. And now for my final wheel spin of the video. Oh, Ooh, my gosh, okay. dude. Crimson Lucky Blocks, baby. Ah. I'll take it. Final round starts now. Good luck. Good luck, bro. And let's waste no time on popping one open. We get a Calyrex. Yo. Which means if we get Spectra or Glass Shard, we could fuse them. We'll cross that bridge if we get there. Let's see. Crimson Groudon. Okay, we already have a Groudon, though. And an Entei. But yo, this one looks so cool, man. Do we bring two Groudons to the battle? Do I do it? So we've got Kyogre and we've got Groudon on the team, bro. Come on. Let's get a Crimson Rayquaza and get the trio. There's a Marshadow. Not bad at all. And the Krozma. Dude, my team is so strong. The thing is, I know Arpus is gonna have a really strong team as well, so I'm not really sure how strong it is compared to his. Oh, a Jirachi. We don't have a steel type yet. Uh, we do have a psychic type with our Mewtwo Knight. Latios as well. The thing is, I really am trying to diversify my team as much as I can. Lugia, flying psychic. We have both of those already. So this is kind of making me a little bit more picky. Yes, there's the ground on we were looking for. But we're on to our final 10 lucky blocks before the battle. Meloetta and Urshifu. Okay. Meloetta's not too great, but I will take an Urshifu. And come on, baby. Let's go back to back to back to back. Latios. So we get a Cresselia, a Thunderous, Jirachi, Xerneas. Now would be a good chance to get Xerneas on the team, but Cresselia is also a great choice. 
Cresselia is just so bulky. That could be a great addition. What else? Terrakion. We don't have a fighting or a rock type. I feel like you guys are going to hate me for this, but I totally am genuinely considering using him over the Groudon. Like, Groudon is sick. He's always really, really good. Super strong. Bulky. Hits hard. But we have a ground type already, and we don't have a rock or fighting type, which is what Terrakion is. I think that Terrakion fits our team much better! We did just get a Rayquaza! We already have a dragon and a flying type, but it's also Rayquaza! I, I, I don't think I think I can pass up a Rayquaza, especially for a Terrakion, no matter what my team composition looks like. Let's see what we can get. We get a Crimson Zekrom, a Crimson Melton, which is like two centimeters tall. Okay, I guess I'll catch you. And our final lucky block before the $1,000 battle is a Vic Teeny, which stands for victory. And with victory in mind, we're picking Cresselia. None of these compare to the legendary Rayquaza, so that is what I'm going to go with. And now it's time to catch Arpus on the battlefield. It is time for the ultimate lucky block battle. A thousand dollars on the line. Oh, baby, I'm so nervous. My team is so strong, but I'm assuming yours is probably also incredibly yeah, strong. Yeah, yeah, we're super strong. Don't worry about that. Let's go with this guy. Hello. Oh, Landorus. Yes, okay. sir. Okay, that <laughs> I figured you'd do that. You just earthquake to levitate, Mon. Okay, but no, that's no problem at all. That is no problem at all because we got the boy. Let's go, baby. Come on, Evelto. Oh, okay. That didn't do much. Let's go. Boom. Okay, okay, and I get some okay, health okay. back and the Tailwind's still up, dude. Tailwind is such a good move. The corrupted Kyogre has hit the battle. I knew though. it, dude. I knew you would have a Kyogre. Oh my gosh. And thankfully, okay. yours is out of the way. I would assume I'm still slower. I'm not. What? Oh my gosh. The origin pulse critical hit. Dude, you did not have to do me like that. And now we have Kyogre versus Groudon. This is my last Pokemon. I don't oh know gosh. if you have any more. I think I only have one play here. And that okay. is, I'm just going to tell you, I'm clicking Outrage. And I'm also clicking my Mega Evolution, baby. No, I didn't. I didn't burn <laughs> you with Lava Plume. Are you kidding me? Burn him, burn him, burn him. Oh, let's go. But you still have another Pokemon. No. Let's go, dude, that was so close. Don't forget to subscribe.